Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to learn how to teach a puppy to walk on a leash. This is our new puppy Thor. He is a boxer mix. Um, and today we're going to do a little bit of leash training with him. The first thing you want to do is find the right equipment. I always recommend a harness. You can use a collar uh, if that's your preference. I like a harness with a handle so you can keep a hold of your puppy. They tend to uh, be a little bit wiggly and easily distracted and sometimes you need to grab onto that handle uh, just to make sure that they're not running off while you're working on your training. I also like a harness with a padded chest plate like this one. Uh, this is the Chesapeake harness from Bay Dog and um, I actually use their uh, matching leash as well. I've done product reviews on these so you can see them up close if you're looking for uh, information on the products that I use. But come here, Thor. Thor. Thor, come here. Come here, my good. So this is our Beagle Molly. Um, she thinks she wants to be in the video as well. Uh, but once you find the gear that you want, make sure you choose a harness or a collar that's gonna be comfortable for your dog, a leash that's going to work for your needs as well as be comfortable for you to use. Um, and then you wanna make sure that your harness or collar fits properly. I have videos on both how to put a harness on, also how to fit a collar properly. Um, harnesses typically have multiple adjustment points like this one for Thor, so we've got it fitted around his neck, fitted around his waist, and uh, we're ready to begin. If you are brand new to puppy training, if your dog is brand new to leash training, you want to give him time to get used to the gear that you're using. Um, so put the collar on, the harness on, let him walk around the house with it. Give him time to just be with the gear and get comfortable before you try to start any type of training. Uh, same thing with the leash. First, I usually start out by just leaving the leash on the floor of our house. Um, obviously with puppies you have to be very careful that they don't chew it so you always want to supervise them. But I leave it on the floor, I give them time to sniff it, um, push it around a little bit with their nose, get used to it, realize that it's nothing that's going to hurt them. Uh, then I start still inside where there's limited distractions. I will hook the leash onto the harness and just let the dog drag it around behind them inside. Um, again, that just gets them familiarized with it, lets them know that it's not going to hurt them. Um, you can tell Thor is not uh, scared of it or uh, becomes uncomfortable when I put it on him. We've done this quite a few times by now. Once he's used to the gear, you know you've got everything fitted right, it's time to begin training. Um, so you want to um, have treats or a toy. Come here, Thor. Hey, come on, big guy. Something that's going to give your dog a little motivation. <laughs> Thor just wants to... Play with his stick right now. Good boy, good boy. So you'll just do short walks uh, in the beginning, get him used to the gear, get him used to walking around um, and comfortable on the leash. Different dogs are going to do different things. Some dogs will pull, some dogs will chew. Um, take it very slow, be patient, work on it gradually. Uh, obviously, if they're chewing, you need to discourage that immediately you don't want your dog to chew through the leash um you also want to have plenty of patience because they're going to do silly things like this no slinking around on their bellies rolling around in the grass your dog is still a puppy and you need to keep your training short their attention span is not long they're going to get bored very easily try to do your training when your dog's tired out play some games uh let him wrestle around with other dogs if you have other pets uh, burn some energy so that when he gets on the leash, he is going to be ready for that. Come here, Thor. Molly, come here. He's trying to get to Molly right now so you can see him pulling. Um, and that brings up a great point that you want to discourage pulling at all. So if you're walking your dog, the minute that he pulls on the leash, you need to stop. And he's going to pull to go that way. Uh, but we, if I want to go this way, then I'm going to wait until he comes back to me. Come here, Thor. So if your dog is pulling on the leash, you're going to stop. Wait till he comes back to you and then start walking in the way that you want to go. Uh, pulling is something that you need to nip in the bud immediately. If you don't, your dog is going to end up pulling on the leash constantly. Um, I recommend a harness with a front clip. You could see that on our 
um, Chesapeake harness. And if your dog is a puller, sometimes right off the bat, even puppies will pull on the lead. You can use that front clip uh, to walk them and they can't pull that way. So those are uh, great training harnesses to use when you're beginning teaching your puppy to walk on a leash. Um, again, patience, do it gradually, short walks to start with and then you can build up from there. Uh, puppies, you know, they need those short bursts of training, not necessarily the big lengthy training periods like older dogs. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thanks for watching this video guide.